kill everybody. He did send many miracles I did not in Jerusalem because of the people's unbelief. But at the same token, Jesus walked around, Jesus walked past a whole lot of sick folk. It's not necessary for sick folk to be healed to be saved. Because salvation is the most important. Because guess what? Some folks only want to get healed to do more sin. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the place. I talked to a man that was this was years ago. I talked to a man that was in a wheelchair and uh, and he did some he did some things. And, and and I said, brother, I said, uh, man, I said, I would love to pray for you that, that God would heal you and, and take you out of this, out of that chair. And I said, would you stop doing the stuff that you're doing? He said, man, no, now I'll be able to run, do it, not roll and do it. <laughs> Watch this. If his heart, <laughs> hello, somebody. See, see, you got to get the heal. I want to go and heal everybody sick. Everybody sick don't need to be healed. All they're going to do is sin more. Sin faster. <laughs> uh, he said, I don't want to be healed. I don't want to be healed to do right. I, instead of rolling, I run now. <laughs> and God says, what? The purpose of the gifting is that I may be glorified and that someone may believe in me. So each one of our giftings is given that God may be glorified and someone may see what we're doing and say, you know what? How do you do that? Or I want to know that God that you know that gives you the ability to do that. Who's that in the Bible that they see Paul and them doing all that and they, they want to jump up and, and, and act like they're going to cast out devils? And, and, and they thought they're going to go and just run up to the demons and cast them out and the demons strip them naked. The demon will tear your clothes off. We cannot just do things because we have the gift. It's important that God direct us in everything that we do so that we don't hurt nobody. That the blessings may go to God and not to us. I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to go to the next one. But the gift of healing, that's a powerful gift. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 said, What well, if my people that are called by my name, watch it, we don't even have to have a gift. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 said, If my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, what, seek my face, turn from what? Their wicked ways. What he said, then what? Then will I heal from what? And I will do what? Heal what? I heal a lot So our land is sick. Our land needs healing. And part of it is because the believers, the saints, are not doing their job. If we did our job, you could go to your job. You could go to your job, whatever job you work on, and go in and declare healing. And I'm talking about healing that will bring people to repentance. I, this is what I believe in. Healing that brings people to repentance that God may get glorified. Not just heal you and make you feel good, but healing that bring you to repentance where you can be saved. Praise God for you on tonight. We're going to stop right there at that ninth verse with the gift of healings. And so I admonish you is to look at these giftings that we went over on tonight and for you to look within yourself and say, you know what, God? Are any of these mine that we've gone over? Have I been blessed with one of these giftings that don't know it's mine? Oh, have I been operating in your gift and saying I've been doing it? Because some some of us, uh, uh, you are small, you are pretty key, you are, and you just have the ability. Whenever you see something, you have the ability to step. You just know it, and God give you the ability to figure it out like that. Ask God. God, is that ability? Is that a special talent that you've given me? If so, ask God and say, God, if it's so, I want you to increase my gift. And if it increase, you are know it's God. God bless you. God keep you. Any other questions tonight before we close? God bless you.